Okay, so what I have here is the all new TCL 20 Pro 5G. This is the successor to last year's TCL 10 Pro. I actually reviewed that on this channel here. And today I wanted to share with you my first impressions. You know, obviously it's out of the box already. I wanted to share my first impressions and let's call this kind of an initial review of the TCL 20 Pro 5G here. Let's go ahead and jump in. Now, before we even jump in, I want to give a major, major salute to TCL for sending this guy here for a review they actually sent. Quite a few things. We have a big bag here. And of course, as always, this is not a sponsored video, right? This is just me sharing with you my genuine opinion on this phone, especially first impressions. And with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and jump into just the build and just the design of this phone. It reminds me a little bit of the design we had on the TCL 10 Pro last year in terms of just how sleek it is and how nice and how premium it feels in the hands, especially for something at this price point. You can pick up this phone for $499 and that's gonna be unlocked for you to enjoy quite a few things. And if you know one thing about TCL, I wanna go ahead and jump right into the screen here. It's a beautiful screen and it stands at 6.7 inches here. So it's a kind of a big boy, right? So it's just a very slick and good looking phone here. And that camera module on the back there has a quad setup containing a 48 megapixel for the main camera there. You have a 16 megapixel ultra wide, two megapixel depth sensor, and a two megapixel macro lens. So you know you are in for a treat with this camera setup on the back here. On the front, you have a whopping 32 megapixel selfie camera. And I've, you know, snapped a few pictures with it. Looks pretty clean so far. And by the way, welcome to the channel if this is your first time visiting. If you do like the content so far, I truly appreciate that. Please do me a huge favor. Hit both the like and the subscribe button. It's a tremendous boost to this channel here. And I truly, again, very, very much appreciate that. All right, so now let's get back to this phone here. And before I even move on to other aspects of the phone, I want to go back to that camera. Just looking at how flush it is back here, it is just so refreshing to have a camera module that's not a bump, right? You have four cameras and yet it just stays very, very flush. It's a it's a very sleek look. I really, really like it on this glossy strip that you have on the back here. So 6.7 inches, so it's kind of a big boy and I like these corners that are not too rounded so they can kind of dig in your palm here to really assist you with gripping the phone here. The model or the variant that I have here is the Moon Dust Gray and you also have this available in Marine Blue which also just from the pictures look really, really nice. The display here is AMOLED boasting a 1080 by 2400 pixel for the resolution with HDR10 support and so far the screen just does not disappoint. Now, if you are familiar with TCL Next Vision technology, then you probably know what I'm talking about. They make beautiful display that just carried over from the, you know, TV manufacturing, let's say TV manufacturing skills, you know, from the fact that they make so many nice TV displays and they could just carry that over to their other devices and they just do such a fantastic job at it. Now, this phone is running Android 11 and you have TCL UI sitting on it. So that's the skin that's sitting on that Android 11. It's powered by a Snapdragon 750G and it's comboed with six gigs of RAM. And I got to tell you, so far performance has been fantastic. Very, very snappy, ultra responsive. So when you close things, it closes immediately when you open things no lags, it just, it works very, very, very well. And you have a base internal storage of 256 gigs expandable at up to one terabyte. That's a pretty sizable amount of storage to give you as base internal storage. That's really nice because obviously, you know, whether they were giving you 128, you know that you still have the ability to expand that at up to one terabyte, but these guys are giving you 256 gigs base internal storage. It is also loaded with a 4,500 milliamp hour battery here. So obviously that's gonna be more of an all day type of battery and it is fast charge capable at up to 
18 watt. And here's another really nice feature in terms of that battery. It does, you know, the phone does support wireless charge at up to 15 watt. That is really incredible. You know, flagship feature on such a beautiful phone. It's really, really top notch. It's a pro phone. So it has those flagship features. It's really good to see that there. Some additional features to highlight here, especially one that I really like to see is that headphone jack. We have a headphone jack. We don't see that anymore, you know, on phone. So it's always nice to have that on a phone. You also have an IR blaster on this phone, so you can use it as a, you know, universal remote. Tons of people really, really miss having that on phones, so it's always good and always refreshing to see that still coming on phones. You have a USB Type-C port, of course, as always. That's where you have the micro SD card slot there. Now, I'm not gonna keep this video very long, so let's go ahead before we cut it off, talk about a few of the things that come out of the box. You know, obviously, you get the phone, you will get kind of a sub box that contains a manual, a SIM tray tool, and a free transparent case here, which is kind of a goodie from TCL. That's always nice to have so that you can just slap your phone in there as soon as you receive it or as soon as you buy it. You will obviously get a power brick along with a USB Type-C cable. So in summary, in terms of first First impressions of the TCL 20 Pro 5G here, they're very positive. Just in terms of looks, they make beautiful phones. I, they really, they truly, truly make beautiful phones. If you are in the market for something like this, you can check them out, you know, see how you like that design. It's a really, really cool design here. It's going to run you $499, as I mentioned, and it's loaded with quite a few things that I'm going to be thoroughly testing and making sure that I bring to you all in my full review or my full or my comprehensive review of this phone. So I'm just going to stop here and I'm hoping that this was informative. Of course, please don't forget to like, subscribe. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, if you haven't hit that subscribe button just yet, comment. I'm going to catch you in the comment section like I always do. I'm also going to catch you in the next video. And up until that next video, of course, as always, stay safe out there.